Hello guys, hope you're all okay. You're all enjoying your life and you're also enjoying watching my videos. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about a congenital abnormality that is called as achondroplasia. Achondroplasia is actually rhizomelic dwarfism. What happens in rhizomelic dwarfism is that the head becomes enlarged, there will be a hydrocephalus and there will be a mid-face dysplasia. The trunk of the a person would be normal but the distal uh, extremities would be short and beside this there will be a particular hand structure which is called as trident hand and uh, genuarum would also be there. Uh, we can appreciate all these abnormalities on the um, radiographs, on the x-rays. So far the craniofacial x-rays are concerned you would be able to see in large head with the frontal bosing and with the mid face dysplasia and also there will be hydrocephalus. So far the pelvic and spine is concerned there will be a particular shaped vertebra, vertebra which is called as a bullet shaped vertebra and that would be seen, uh, seen at L, uh, lumbosacral junction. So the bullet shaped vertebra is a characteristic of uh, uh, achondroplasia. Beside this there will be a posterior vertebral scalloping. So posterior uh, uh, vertebral uh, posterior end plate or posterior vertebral scalloping could also be uh, visible on the radiograph. Beside this there will be a uh, narrow interpedicular uh, distance. So the narrow into interpedicular distance can also be easily picked on the radiograph. So this would, you would be able to appreciate on the spine and on the pelvic region. If you focus on the pelvis area, so there will be a um, a narrow acetabular angle, there will be a narrow sacroiliac joint area and uh, beside this uh, as I mentioned in the extremities there will be a trident hand. So all these features can be easily picked on the radiograph particularly the bullet shaped vertebra on the lumbosacral junction. So how it will appear, how we will uh, gather all these uh, informations on the radiograph and come to the, uh, come to the final conclusion. Let's start watching these images. It's a lumbosacral uh, radiograph uh, of the patient, uh, which is showing two characteristic appearances of the achondroplasia. Uh, the one is posterior vertebral scalloping. This you can appreciate on the lateral image. So this is called as posterior vertebral scalloping can be easily picked on the lateral radiograph and the another is you can appreciate on the AP view there is a short uh, distance and narrowed interpedicular distance so this is the appearance of the achondroplasia on the spine this is again another radiograph lateral projections for the achondroplasia spine and it shows a particular bullet shaped vertebra. This is the characteristic of achondroplasia that you can appreciate on the lateral view that the shape of the vertebra will appear like a bullet. So the bullet shaped vertebra and posterior vertebral scalloping can be appreciated on the uh, lateral radiograph as far as the uh, uh, anterior projection is concerned on the anterior projection you can appreciate the narrowed interpedicular distance so these two are the characteristics appearance of the achondroplasia on uh, spine radiograph on this pelvic radiograph you can appreciate two findings the one is that is uh, changes in the uh, ileum and the second thing is you can appreciate the uh, presence of genu verum which is a characteristic of the achondroplasia so these two uh, important features can be seen on the pelvic uh, radiograph so the changes of the flattened ileum can be seen on this image on this another radiograph you can appreciate the flattening of the ileum bone and which is causing the genu verum genu verum is actually the uh, long uh, or you can call as, as a bow legness or you can also call as bendy legs so these are the characteristic of the achondroplasia on the extremity radiograph here you can appreciate a particular appearance of the achondroplasia uh, which is called as trident hand so this a particular appearance of the achondroplasia you can appreciate is a trident hand if you just look for this image you can appreciate there will be a frontal bossing there will be a mid face uh, dysplasia and also there will be a shortening of the proximal limbs beside this 
uh, trident hand can be easily seen on this radiograph so overall the achondroplasia patient will appears like that and you can appreciate the findings on the radiographs as well